Okay, I'm here with Leah Krupps, and she's going to show us a new cup on request answer to the pod machines. This is my absolute favorite machine because it's great for a single person or if there's a group of you. Um, basically, this machine is kind of how you would see a typical machine, but it all happens inside, and everything's heated from all around. It's a patented heating system. And so if you're just making one cup of coffee, it's not going to burn. It's in a thermos. It's in a thermos, and it's heated from all around instead of just the bottom plate, like typical coffee machines that might, um, you know, singe, burn your, your taste a little bit. Well, this is a machine that I might find interesting. This is a grinder and brewer coffee machine. Normally, I think that's too much to ask of one machine. But frankly, if anyone can do it, probably Krupps can. They're experienced with doing all-in-one espresso machines. And really, it's a drip brewer, but it has a conical burr grinder built in, which I think is a good sign. Here, they've got four different grinders. These are all burr grinders, no blades. I know they make blade grinders too, but you know what I think. So we're going to we'll choose one of these four. Which one? Well, it's going to be these two because these are conical burr grinders. And of course, for the vast array of brewing that I do, I greatly prefer conical burr. This is what I would call coffee lover's jewelry. This is a so the silver art collection so that you can people can drop by and you can show them your swell looking silver coffee maker that brews exactly like the one that I would have that's covered in plastic. I'm here with Michelle Krupps and we're going to see a new fully automatic you know all-in-one machine. This is for the laziest coffee drinker like me that gets up in my first cup of the day I don't want to have to clean anything I don't want to have because I never clean the French press until the, the morning after my coffee so uh, anyway I'll go into my confession later but let's let's Michelle tell us about this new machine sure this is the Krupps EA 9000 full automatic cappuccino machine so it's a one-touch machine and basically what the machine is going to do is heat your milk froth the milk, pour the coffee, and then clean itself when it's finished. So really you don't have to do anything except maybe fill up the water tank every now and then. Well, that's not too much. I could do that. <laughs> the machine will take fresh beans and grind it per the cup, or if you like your flavored coffees, you can press this button, you can actually pour fresh ground coffee in there. And the two chambers don't mix, so you can actually store two kinds of coffee in here if you have somebody that likes decaf and regular, or like flavored and regular. Two types of beans? Well, two, no, one, one type so, of bean oh, and see. one type of ground. Okay, so in other words, if my uh, a friend comes over who only drinks decaf, I have one or two friends like that. <laughs> um, we could we could just put ground coffee in there for Correct. them. Correct. Yep. Okay. And and uh, what kind of it has a, bur a grinder built? It has in? a conical burr grinder. Conical burr. Yes. That's good. Okay. Good okay. for us. Okay. So um, you want me to just show you how yes, it works? Yes, please. All right. So let's start. The most interesting ones are milk. So I'm just going to pour some cold milk in here. Okay. And then just basically set it under here. You select the touch screen. If this was my machine at home, I would have my favorite stored in. And by doing that, you can actually store what you like. So you can program it so that it gives you the right amount of uh, the right temperature coffee, the right amount of milk, and the right coffee in your cup. So every morning, you, if you're really lazy, you come down, you just push favorites and your name, and then that's all you have to do. So the temperature is adjustable? It can adjust the temperature, the grind of the bean, and also the strength of the, the coffee. Wow. Okay, I'm gonna make a cappuccino, so I just press that. Good choice, okay. Now this is telling me it's a small, so that's fine. Yeah, that's what I do. Pour, it's, it's telling me what to do. Tell me to pour the milk, I already did that, so okay. Place it under there. It's not gonna let you do anything that without its help. Wow. So now it's gonna preheat, preheat the milk, okay. or preheat the wand. All right. And if you watch, the wand comes down into the cup. <laughs> I'm sorry, what did it say? I was... It's preheating the milk before it starts to froth it. Wow. So, and it's telling you how long. You can also adjust that. So if you like really hot milk, yeah. you can go in and program it so that it, it will heat it longer before it froths it. Wow. Ooh, nice creamy top too. Yep, nice, very strong froth. And now, now it's gonna grind the beans for the coffee. So give it a second. Is that the grinder? Mm -hmm. Really? Yeah. Oh, that's that's really nice because one thing I get complaints about the loud grinding in the morning. Yep, that's it. I wake everyone up. Now it's pouring the coffee. 
beautiful. So now your cappuccino's ready. But wait, she's not finished yet. So when I remove the cappuccino, set that aside for a second. Okay. Now the next step is, now the machine is going to actually clean the wand because it frothed the milk and we want to make sure that the wand is clean for the next use. Right. So now it's going to tell you it's rinsing the steam nozzle. Now if you can get a closer look here, you see the water has now gone up into the steam nozzle compartment and it's rinsing out this. So now the next time you ah. use the machine, the nozzle's all clean. Beautiful. Now can I try the coffee? Sure you can. Okay, good. <laughs> try it first. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Wow, it's really nice. Thank you, Michelle. You're welcome. <laughs>